Unveiling the meaning in the water. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the English language to uncover the meaning behind the phrase in the water. This is a common expression with various uses, and understanding it can help you navigate through English with more confidence. Let's get our feet wet and explore this phrase together. When we say something is in the water, we usually mean it quite literally. It's submerged or surrounded by water. This could refer to anything from boats floating on a lake to apples bobbing in a bucket during a game at a fair. It's straightforward, but pay attention to the context as it can change the meaning. 2.1 Indicating abundance or presence. Sometimes, in the water, is used to suggest that a place has a lot of a particular thing. For example, there must be something in the water in that town because everyone seems to live to be over 100. Here, it hints at an abundance of health or a certain trait among people. 2.2 Signifying potential or beginnings. The phrase can also indicate that something is beginning to develop or show potential. Think of it like this. When you see ripples in a pond, you know something has just entered the water. So when someone says, there's a change in the water, it could mean that a change is starting to take shape. 3.1. There's something in the water. This idiom is often used to explain a common trend or a phenomenon among a group of people. For example, if many people in a workplace start quitting around the same time, a person might say, there's something in the water here, implying an underlying common cause. 3.2. Blood in the water. On a more dramatic note, blood in the water can indicate that someone has shown weakness, and others, like sharks, are ready to take advantage of it. It's often used in competitive situations, whether in sports, business, or politics. And that brings us to the shore of understanding, in the water. Whether it's literal or figurative, this phrase has a flow of uses in the English language. I hope this video helps you navigate through these expressions with ease. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.